I have uh, this uh, empty Google Sheet, so I've just mapped out the headers, so name, email, sign up date, and uh, status. I have uh, a JSON data here in this uh, test.json file, and uh, this is the data that I want to write into my uh, Google Sheet. So I also have my uh, environment open right now so there's nothing in the workflow uh, we are going to start from scratch so to achieve this i'll uh, need to create a, a hook or a webhook so that uh, we send data to this webhook then we are going to use the function node or the code node so that we are able to extract the data that we want from uh, the response or from the HTTP request that we are going to send to the webhook. And then later we shall connect the Google Sheet node to append the data into these rows, depending on the amount of data that you have. So right now, this is my data. Then for accessing the webhook, I'll use a tool uh, known as uh, Postman. So you can download this, it's free. And just sign up, then you'll be able to use it to send data or to make HTTP requests. So I'll go to my workflow and uh, add a node. I'll just search for webhook, which is this one here then the method because i'm receiving data then i'll use uh, the post method and uh, i don't need authentication for now so i'll just copy this uh, url and then go to postman i'll click on this to add a new http request so the type is post and I'll paste my URL here. That is the webhook. Then on this body tab, I'll click on the body tab and I'll choose raw. So I'll just copy the whole of my JSON data and paste it here and then send. So I'll go to my file, control A and copy everything. And then paste it here then send so it's returning 404 uh, it's not registered okay all right so the reason for that is because i haven't uh, tested the webhook i haven't run it so let's listen for a test event then go back to postman and send the request again you can see workflow was started and uh, if I come back to the workflow, I receive my data. So this is in table format, but uh, I can as well check how the JSON format looks like. So we have the headers being mapped out here, but we are interested with the body. So inside the body, we have all the objects or all the JSON data. So it works. I'll just go back to the canvas. So we shall need to uh, take that data and uh, generate, uh, I mean, uh, a clean uh, JSON data that we are going to now map into or append to our Google Sheet. So to achieve that, uh, I'm assuming that uh, not all of you know how to write code or how to code. So I'll make use of uh, chat GPT. So what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, test the workflow again, then uh, send the data again. Okay, so okay it, it was successful so what i'm going to do is uh, just uh, click on this and uh, search for function 
so I need to add the code node and the data is already there so it pre-populates this for us so what I want to do is just copy this and tell chat GPT to generate NHN function that extracts uh, body data from this so just paste that and enter so let's give this few seconds to do that so it has generated a function that is going to do that for us extract body data so i'll copy this because there are two functions here that are just giving us the example of user uh, because i haven't really told chat gpt what i want to use the data for so i'll pick this first code and uh, replace this with that code then i'll just test so we have problems code doesn't return items properly so i'll go ahead and tell chat gpt i want uh, to append or just uh, i want to add all the data to uh, a google sheet so chat gpt is going to fix that for us and uh, create a clean function so this is the clean function so i'll copy that then go back to this code control a to select everything then just paste what we got from chat gpt then test the step so you can see we now have a clean data and it's actually 20 items so which is perfect so i'll just go back to the canvas and now bring in the google sheet so i'll type google sheet And then what we want is to append a row in a sheet so i'll choose that and if it's your first time connecting to google sheet you know linking your google sheet to n8n what you'll do is uh, click here and create new credential for connecting to the google sheet or a google api and then uh, leave this checked then sign in with google and then select the account that is managing your google sheet so it's this first one for my case then i'll click continue and it's uh the connection is successful so i'll just uh, close that and then i'll append a row we need to choose the document because uh, you may be having a, a list of documents and uh, if you look at the title of this document is n8n google sheets demo so that is what i'm going to choose which is this one here it only has one sheet so i'll choose it and this is the data uh, that uh, I mean the columns that we are supposed to map data into so we have a name which is this one here email sign up date and the status so i'll just drag a name here and i'll drag uh, email there and i drag uh, sign up date here and i'll drag status there and then right now if i click on test the app it's going to actually add that data to the google sheet so let's do that test 
and uh, this is the response node executed successfully so in a table format it will it's supposed to look like this so if i go to the google sheet find that all this data has been added there so it's not necessary that uh, your data will be originating from maybe a webhook or it can be a long workflow and uh, a lot of nodes and there is a point where you now want to save your data into uh, the google sheet so that is how you can do it so right now if i test the workflow again it may just create duplicates here so let's delete this data and uh, now run our workflow from uh, postman so we save and uh, we test the workflow so it's waiting for the data to come from your postman so if i send see the data is going through the nodes and it's saved executed successfully so i'll come back to the google sheet and all my data is there so that is it guys for this uh, short video thank you for taking your time to watch it i hope you have learned uh, something so in case you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial or video